I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an application question on the volume of cylinder and sphere. The question is, three tennis balls are packed in a can. What fraction of can do they occupy? So consider like this that we have kind of a can like this, right? So in this we have three tennis balls. So let me just make some tennis balls inside. So let's say this is one, okay, and this is another one and then this is the third one okay so these three tennis balls are inside a cylindrical can right that's how sometimes you get them in the market the question here is three tennis balls are packed in a can as shown what fraction of can do they occupy so as we see here the volume which is being occupied can be determined using the formula. So we have cylinder, which is the can. So when I say can, that is a cylinder. And for the cylinder, the formula for volume is uh, pi r square h. And these balls, which we are talking about, are basically spheres, right? And the volume for a sphere is, let's write cylinder here and S here. Volume for sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube. So these are the formulas for you. Now I think you can pause the video, apply these formulas and find what fraction of the can do they occupy. That means we want to find fraction of can they occupy. It means three balls, right? So three times volume of each each ball right so which is a sphere i wrote s here divided by the volume of cylinder that is what we are interested in finding okay now let's try to figure it out let us say that the radius of the cylinder is r so the maximum size ball will have a radius of r also is it okay so they have the same radius now for the cylinder we have height h how can i relate height with radius that is an important thing to consider so so you can see from here that if i want to calculate the height then the height clearly is one two three four five six radius right so height in this case can be written as six times the radius is that okay so height is six times radius this is six times radius for the can which is cylindrical in shape right so now we can write down that three identical balls so it is three times Volume of each is 4 over 3 pi r cube divided by volume of the cylinder is pi r square h. Now instead of height h, I'll write 6r. So we'll write 6 times r. Since height is equals to 6 times r, we just calculate it. Correct? Now this equation has to be simplified. So this is an exercise to simplify this kind of equation. And now let me do it in two steps so first let me get rid of this fraction so we get 4 pi r cube divided by pi r 2 times 3 is cube right uh, times 6 okay now r cube and r cube will cancel pi and pi will cancel and you can simplify 4 and 6 to write as 2 over 3 so the answer is two third, right? So two third is occupied by the balls. So the answer is two third, two over three is the fraction. Occupied in this case, correct? So that is how you can actually answer it. So first remember your formulas, volume for the cylinder is pi r square h for a sphere it is 4 by 3 pi r cube and second step is write height 
in terms of radius. Then you, have, you are working with one variable and it becomes easier to simplify. So that's the kind of trick. I'm Anil Kumar. You can share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.